guys, welcome to my top 50 favorite paleo foods and products. I hope you guys enjoy this. I, I, I don't even have to say that. I know you're going to love this, okay? Because um, this is coming from an extremely picky eater, so just keep that in mind, okay? Someone who like hated dieting because they hated every single food under the sun. So yeah, you're going to love this. All right. If you don't have time to watch, um, you can check the description. I'll have my top 50 list in there for you guys as well. Um, for all of you um, that have already seen some of my videos, welcome back. Um, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I am really, really glad you're here. Make sure you check out my other videos on YouTube under Christie's Blogs. Um, so, as many of you guys like already know, I live paleo. I swear by it. Um, after spending my entire life on just a never-ending diet, I finally found something that worked for me. So um, again, being as picky as I am and as many times as I failed in the past, I know that this will work for anybody that just gives it a try. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about my journey, just click um, the My Paleo Journey link in the description. Um, that video, it was basically just designed to inspire like anybody. I mean, just anybody, even the most stubborn like, like me. Um, so make sure you check that out. And um, for those of you that decided to hang out with me, let's go ahead and move on to my top 50 favorite foods and products. All of the um, products that I'm going to mention here, they're on my website. Um, you'll get the link in the description, so sit back and enjoy. Don't worry about having to write anything down. Just relax. Okay? All right. First, we're starting off with a good one. <laughs> paleo Thin Paleo Protein. Yum, yum, yum. I am not going to go ahead and just go over like every single detail of each of those. I posted them on the screenshot so that you guys can see. Paleo donuts. Okay, now you have to keep in mind, like, like, okay, she went ahead and just put two chocolate things up here. Is that like all she eats? No, that's not all I eat. <laughs> but what I, this video was made um, basically to, to let you know that there are things that you can eat on paleo that you're thinking you can't, and I don't want you guys I don't want anybody who's considering it not to do it because they think they can't have these things. Um, so that's what this video is about. I eat a lot of meat, a lot of veggies, a lot of, you know, everything paleo. So no, these, this is not the only thing I eat. This is just meant to be some of my favorite go-to, you know, little things here and there. So no, I didn't lose all my weight and get all nice and better by eating donuts and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a little bit, moving on to a little bit um, better product here. We've got the, the Primal Kitchen Dressing. Um, these are available on Amazon. You get the three pack. So, so, so good. I'm a very picky um, salad dressing um, eater, I guess you could say. But these are really, really, really good. My favorites. Um, the powder seasoning. In the beginning, I just used salt and pepper, which was really, really, I mean, it was fine for me. I'm not a big seasoner with my food. Um, this here, awesome, 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 must have. It is really, really, really good. All right, now, this I posted on here, and then I saw quite a few posts. Um, it is paleo, it isn't paleo. It says paleo on it, and nine times out of ten, when I see that, I think it's fine. Um, I've never, you know, had a problem with these before. I've never eaten one and gained five pounds. <laughs> so um, they've never made me feel, you know, sluggish or bloated or anything like that. So I don't know. You guys can do, can do your own research if you want to find out whether they're paleo or not. But as far as I can see, it says paleo. I eat it. It's good. And then we have the paleo beef sticks. For those of you guys that like, um, like one of my favorite things before used to be Slim Jims. These are so good. You will love these. Grab them. 
Um, these are also keto friendly and Whole30 friendly. Whole30 is a little bit stricter than Paleo. Um, so if you're starting out with the Whole30 before you go on to Paleo, you can have these. And now we've got ketchup. Yes, there is a way to make your own ketchup. I have tried it. I have failed hundreds of times. It never comes out right. So I was really, really happy that there is a paleo ketchup out there, um, pre-made that I can buy so I can have ketchup because my attempts just failed miserably. So this is Wellbees. It's really, really good. And now we move on to the cassava strips. Um, these are, are um, I don't know if you guys have ever had yucca, but yucca is a I want to say almost like a form of a potato. It kind of is. It tastes like potato. Um, but these are really good. The sea salt ones. They are awesome. I don't know if they come in any other flavors. They might. But I've just tried the sea salt and it is really, really, really good. Probably the closest you'll get to a chip. Um, then we have the, the paleo bread. Okay. Um, again, I have tried to make my own bread. I am not a baker. I will burn anything and everything that I try to bake. I'm really good at cooking, but I cannot bake to save my life. So I did try that Ezekiel bread and found it to be horrible. I didn't like it. Um, like I had, I had it for like a few weeks in the beginning and it was okay um, because I figured I was really, really craving bread, um, the Ezekiel bread, but then it just became like, uh, yuck, you know? So I was really excited to find this one. It's much, much, much better. It's got two weeks refrigerated and nine months frozen um, for the shelf life, which I think is longer than the Ezekiel bread, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. Moving right along, we've got our Birch Benders Pancake and Waffle Mix. Yummy, 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 yummy. This is also keto friendly too. So if you guys are watching this and you're keto, this one is good for keto too. Um, this actually makes quite a bit. It's not that big of a bag um, when you look at it, but it makes 22 um, four inch pancakes or waffles. Yeah, so it goes a long way. All right, let's move on to the coconut wraps. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. They also have, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name now. There, there's other wraps too that are really good. If I find them, I'll put it in the description, but these are my go-tos. Um, they're uh, non-GMO, there's no added salt, um, no dairy, no egg, no soy. Um, and also what I like about it is that you don't have to refrigerate them. I really, really like that because I don't like my wraps cold, you know? So yeah, these don't have to be refrigerated. And then we've got our fat snacks cookies back to the junk food. I know, I know, I know. But like I said, I want to point out to you guys that it's not just all vegetables and lettuce and fruit. Yeah, I want you guys to know that. Um, you don't have to stop living. <laughs> um, these are really, really good. Uh, not much to say. It's chocolate chip cookie. So if you're craving something, you'd be better off with that as opposed to a big fat chocolate non-paleo brownie. There are paleo brownies, by the way. Um, these are power balls. These are so, so good. I did not think I was going to like these. I'll be honest with you, but um, they're really good and they come in a variety of flavors too. Like you can get all different flavors. So check those out for sure. Now here we go with the crackers. Um, like I said in the beginning, I was really craving like bread, you know, um, also craving crackers, you know, and I'll say I said that in some of my other videos, I really felt like I was missing out on on like you know, that, that cracker and bread. I felt like I was really missing out on that. So when I found these in the very beginning of, of my journey, I grabbed them and I haven't stopped since. Like they're, they're really good. So make sure you have these on hand. A lot of the things that I'm putting here, try to have it on hand because um, 
you don't want to be without something that you're craving so you opt for something that's not paleo you really want to have something to go to if you're craving something that is paleo you want to have a variety because you're going to have a variety of cravings you want a, a variety of go-to's okay so these are really really good yeah <laughs> we got the date lady chocolate spread I eat this in in moderation extreme moderation um, although from what I've read and what I understand it is not bad for you um, I just prefer typically when I see chocolate I, I eat it when I'm having a craving um, just to keep me from going and grabbing what used to be my favorite just chocolate Hershey bars okay. <laughs> these are really really this is really good you're gonna love 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 this um, again, we got the Simple Mills crackers. Um, these are really good. You're going to love them. I have them on hand because you're probably going to be craving um, bread cracker when you go um, when you get started. And now we have the um, a Simple Mills again. You know, Simple Mills has a lot of products that are paleo on the side of the box. It will say specifically paleo. Some of their things do not say that, so make sure you look and check. So all Simple Mills products are not all paleo. Um, these are, I've had my daughter make these for me and they came out excellent. I'm sure if I tried to make them, they would come out horribly because, again, I can't bake anything. But yeah, these came out really good. I make these and then I keep them in a Ziploc baggie and I just have them like for breakfast, you know, with some eggs or something and I keep it, keep it by, you know, on hand. And here we go with the chocolate. I don't know. I must have been in like a chocolate mood when I made this. All right. Well, here we go. Pure seven chocolate. <laughs> okay. What I like about this one, this company, um, they hand make their chocolate and they hand make it in very small batches. So they don't like store their stuff and then, you know, use it to, to re no, they make it in small batches, um, which I really, really like. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, so this is probably the best one that I've had so far um, as far as chocolate goes, the best chocolate bar. And um, then we have the Jackson's Honest, the sweet potato chips. I've looked in stores for these and have not been able to find them, so I get them on Amazon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that's the only place that I'm sure other stores have them, but the only place that I've been able to find them reasonably priced um, is through Amazon I have never seen them at Walmart or Whole Foods or anything like that then again my Whole Foods is really small so they might be I don't know but that's where I get them and then we have the epic meat bars okay these are really really good now there's a couple that I don't like you really have to try and see like you know where your taste buds are at that day but um these are really good too and what I like too, they're 100% grass fed, they're organic, they're humanely certified. That is extremely important um, to a lot of people. So, and just keep an eye on the um, expiration date. They are guaranteed to be fresh until the expiration date. Um, I've been in a store where I have seen that they are expired and still on the shelf. I won't mention any stores, but it has happened. So keep an eye on that. Um, I get mine now, ever since I saw that, I get mine off Amazon. I've never had a problem. And now we go to the, um, the non-food items that I really, really like to use. Um, this is the Thrive um, Coconut Milk or Coconut Oil. Um, yeah. I mean, there's nothing, nothing, nothing to say, but that if you're going to get coconut oil, the Thrive Market I found is the best. <clears throat> um, oh no, I'm not away from, I'm not away from food. I lied. Here's more food. <laughs> I guess the, I guess the oil would be considered food. I guess, yeah, you could use it for cooking and stuff. So I guess it would be. Anyway, it's not really a snack, snack though. Um, so here's the instant hot cereal. The one that I found that I like the best is the maple. Um, I think it comes in a couple of other other flavors, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, because I've always stuck with the maple, which is, is my favorite. It's almost like a cream of wheat um, or like an oatmeal 
you know, it's kind of like that. And you only had to have to add water. I mean, there's nothing else that you have to add to it. So it's quick, you know, it's a quick go-to. And um, as far as like ghee, a lot of people, they'll talk about ghee. I use um, um, ghee oil and I also use um, the grass-fed, um, can't remember the name of it. <sighs> of course, I can't remember. Here I am doing a video and I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, it's the... Um, it's like the the butter but it's grass fed anyway I use that too um, but yeah so this is good it's already made for you you don't have to make your own ghee it's already done it's right there in the bottle um, a lot of people will shy away from having something that's you know um, paleo approved just because they don't feel like you know making the effort and making it and the whole nine that is me to a T so I take a lot of shortcuts um, so yeah, this is really, really good. Next we have the beef bone broth. Now, personally, I have not tried this. Okay. So this is on my top 50 favorites because it is something that I have just heard amazing things about and I just have to get it. I just haven't tried it yet. So I wanted to put it on here even just to remind myself to get it, um, because the, the, it, they say that that bone bone broth it has um, necessary collagen um, and other types of things in there that you really really should have and I haven't had bone broth at all so this is something I'm gonna get it's something I suggest you get from the beginning get into the habit and and make sure you have it on hand and now we go to Hanes sea salt um, this is my favorite favorite sea salt I also use like a Himalayan um, but this is the one that I always cook with on Amazon um, then we have our extra virgin olive oil uh, I like this one. I have used others. Um, Philip Berrio, I believe I've used. Oh, Kerrygold. That's the name of that butter going back, you know, a few slides back. But <laughs> I just remembered it's called Kerrygold. Um, okay, so this here, um, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, this one is imported from Italy. It's the Cola Vita. I would love it. Really, really good. Tasty, but not too, like, overwhelming. Mm-hmm. And then we have our Simple Mills again. Um, the Simple Mills, this is pancake and waffle. Really, really good. You will love it, get it. And now we have our, this is like my, this was probably my favorite buy is the bamboo cutting board. Um, I don't remember if it was the exact um, brand name of this one, but it looks exactly the same. So it probably is this exact cutting board, um, but this one I liked um, it, it's it's bamboo first of all bam and, and you want to make sure that it's quality bamboo not this stuff that's gonna fall apart when you start using it so this one is really good and then this is a spiralizer and I'm sure any of you guys who have been uh, researching paleo see a lot of people using spiralizers um, they use this to make their pasta. They use it to make, you know, just for veggies and, and, and potatoes and things like that. It comes in really, really handy. You could do so much with a spiralizer. So if you can get one and have it on hand, it's a good, good idea to have one. And then we have a chef's knife. Now, it doesn't have to be this particular one. This was just the one that I... I thought it was pretty, <laughs> um, but my, my I, I love my chef knife. Um, I don't remember where I got it, couldn't find it. So this was the next best one as far as like the reviews and stuff like that that I've read. Um, I like that this one does not tarnish. Um, it's got the, um, the handle, the ergonomic handle, high carbon stainless steel blade. So yeah. This was a good one. It comes in a little box and everything. I like this one. I'll probably get this one too. I love mine, but I'll, I kind of need another one just to have it. Um, all right, and then we got a slow cooker. Uh, really good idea to have a slow cooker. Um, for me, my 
my work hours are like really weird so it's hard for me to be able to go inside and cook a meal you know um, just stand over the stove and cook it I just don't have the time so I do a lot of my meals in my slow cooker so if you guys have that problem you might want to grab one of those too it really does it's a lifesaver when you're on paleo baking sheets we all know why must have baking sheets yep I should say my daughter must have baking sheets because she's the one that does all the baking saucepans um, I have three that are my favorite so you want to have um, you want to have probably three three different sizes you want to have a larger one so that you can you know make your for your meal prepping you want to have a smaller one so that you could just make something if you're making something real quick and then medium and eh, not so, not so much but at least a smaller one so you can make an independent meal for yourself if you're if you need something quick and in a hurry and you don't want to wait for a big huge pot of water to boil you know so yeah I like these ones because they were um they had really 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 good reviews um, yeah so sorry I'm distracted my dog is barking at some raccoons outside so yeah so grab your saucepans make sure you have those on hand the other thing is your meat thermometer we do not want to be eating raw chicken or raw meat we want to make sure it's done um, you know living paleo is all about being healthy so please don't eat undercooked meat I like my meat like really really rare especially like my my, my London broils and my steaks and stuff like that I do like them rare but I always make sure that they're not to the point where I'm gonna get sick okay so yeah you should really invest in one of these this particular one is awesome because it's like it's wireless it's digital I like that you know so yeah tongs um, they're just good to have I've got a whole set of them I bought like three sets of these I think these ones come in the two so um, Grab, grab your tongs have those let's see here these are meal prep containers um, personally I do very little meal prepping not a lot um, so for those of you that have a super super busy schedule you do not have time to cook you are interested in meal prepping it is an excellent excellent idea I am just not big on like leftovers I don't like them um, I like what I, I usually like cook and have to eat it right away so if if you're planning on meal prepping kudos to you because it is an awesome 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 way to stick to this so these are the best ones to get the fit packers all right uh, stock pot again it's going back to basically like the saucepans but this is the stock pot um, this is the best one here absolutely a hundred percent the best one this one has a limited lifetime warranty on it so grab a stock pot have it have it have it on hand um, a blender now the ninja blender is incredible I got mine as a gift and I never put it away you know how some people like they put like their their things no mine stays on the counter all the time I use it all the time I love to use it to make my smoothies comes out really really good stick it in the dishwasher no problem um, it, it, the ice the way I used to have like this little Walmart I think it was an Oster one before this and like forget it if you put ice in there you may as well be eating blocks of ice because it did not crush it this thing is so fast it crushes them in like seconds love it uh, mason jars now mason jars are really really good for store not only storing food but to like drink out of <laughs> there's something about having a smoothie and a mason jar that it's like nothing else I mean it's like being at a little like you know little ice cream shop and having your little mason jar with your smoothie in there I don't know maybe I'm crazy but you know I don't know so grab your mason jars <laughs> And then we have the immersion blender immersion blender it's not a um, hundred percent necessary but it is um, something that you might want to consider all right and let's see here our food processor 
should invest in one of these guys. Um, uh, not a necessity, but it, it really is a good idea to have one if you can. Um, and uh, oh, here's the Oster. I think I think mine is an Oster, my my um, food processor, as a matter of fact. Maybe I was thinking of that and not my blender. Um, but yeah, get get a food processor if you can, okay? Um, dehydrator, yes. I love um, dehydrated fruit, crisps, um, like apple crisp, kiwi crisp. Um, what about the strawberries? Oh my gosh, they're so good. So yeah, grab one of these. They're incredible. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, and then here's the 30-day paleo guide. I have this in almost all of my videos. Um, I can't say enough about it, like the tips and tricks, all of the information that you need. Um, it's got recipes, it's got planned meals, it's got shopping lists, it has everything in it. It was one of the first things that I, I got when I went to um, Paleo. Uh, this is also a very good book to go to, The Paleo for Beginners. And this one too, The Easy Paleo Snacks, cookbook for snacks. So now that we're going, we're just going through some books here that, that I suggest um, that I've gotten from my sister, mo mostly um, from my sister. Um, the Nom Nom Paleo, all of her books are excellent. Um, here's one for the Instant Pot, um, a cookbook. So these, you can even like make desserts, okay, in your Instant Pot. So this is a good recipe book to have. Um, yeah, like the the pressure cook. All right, just get it. I, I don't even, it's too early, so I can't even talk. Then we have our paleo comfort cookbook. Um, this one is digital. It's not a physical cookbook, um, but it does have um, bonus um, guides. It's got recipes, 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. Um, and then we have this book that's the Paleo Cure. Um, this one is a national bestseller. This is one that I got from my sister. And the reason this one really hit home for me was because I didn't just get on paleo because I wanted to lose weight. I like had major health issues. And if anything is true, it's the fact that paleo is a cure for ailments, okay? Um, I won't get into my personal story. If you want to know more about, you know, um, that, you can watch my other video. I'll put the link in the description, My Paleo Journey. Um, you can go ahead and watch that. But this book, um, yeah, this one really hit home for me. It was a good one. So again, remember everything that is in this video can be found in my description. Just click the link um, where it says... Um, my top 50 products click that link and you'll get the whole list and where to find them and um, if you have any questions at all please you guys you can always contact me I am here to help that is my goal um, I want to help people um, because it's been so beneficial for me I want other people to have that too so you can email me right through my website at christiesblogs.com and that's it so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have an awesome day. Get started. Don't wait another day like I did. I wish I would have started this when my, my sister first mentioned it to me, and you guys will too, so don't regret it. Get on board now. Go do it now. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. Bye.